Welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. I'd like to start off tonight with a big shout out to my friends in the UK who are over there sharing episodes like crazy. I really appreciate it. If you like an episode, please share it. And just a reminder to everyone that we are now available on pretty much every podcast platform. So if you get a chance to rate, review, follow, subscribe, whatever it is, I'd love to see that happen. This is episode 29, Footsie the Sasquatch Gets Into Trouble. As usual, just lay back in your bed, close your eyes, and imagine yourself doing what the kid in the story does. This time, you wake up in the morning, stretch and get out of bed, and as soon as you stand up, Something appears in front of you. It's a giant Sasquatch. Wait a second. It's actually Footsie the Sasquatch. Hi, how are you? Says Footsie. I'm I'm good, you say. But uh, if you could not just appear suddenly in my bedroom, that would be great. I find that a little bit creepy, frankly. Oh, says Footsie. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you, but I'm in trouble and I need help, says Footsie. Well, what do you need help with? What do you mean? What kind of trouble are you in? I got a picture taken of me. I was just hanging out in the woods, picking flowers, and I forgot to use my invisibility, explains Footsie. Suddenly, I look behind me, and some big guy in some camouflage clothing is sitting there with a gigantic camera taking pictures of me. I disappeared as quickly as I could, but it was too late. He'd taken tons of photos. And then I heard him mumble something about posting them on the internet. I can't let this happen. We need to stop him right away, says Footsie. Well, calm down, Footsie. You can't be the first Sasquatch to have a picture taken of you. I'm not, says Footsie. That's the thing. When a Sasquatch gets a picture taken of them, everybody shuns them. They don't let you in to Sasquatch dinners. They don't let you go to the Sasquatch Christmas party. I want to go to the Sasquatch Christmas party. This year, Sasquatch Santa's going to be there. Uh, I have so many questions about that you say? But I'll just help you. It sounds like you really need help. I do, says Footsie. Okay, Footsie, um, calm down. Stop speaking so loudly. The first thing we're going to have to do is figure out where this guy lives. I can do that. I stayed invisible and followed him back to his little cabin in the woods. Oh, a cabin in the woods. Okay, well, hopefully he doesn't have very good internet and we can get there before the pictures are uploaded. Lead the way. Come on, Changer, you say. Changer, the changeling, who's currently in the shape of an earth puppy, is laying on the bed. He looks up at you with the look that you just know means, Not today, buddy. I'm going to stay right here and sleep on this bed. Okay, you say, Changer. Changer's not coming today. Let's go, footsie. You and Footsie run outside, and Spaceship flies after you in his toy form. When you get outside, Spaceship grows larger without you even asking. He lands in front of you, and the back doors open. You walk on board with Footsie. You sit in one of the control seats up in the command center, and Footsie sits on the other one. You pull back on the throttle and fly high up into the air. Okay, tell me where he is. He is that way, points Footsie, off into the distance. You fly the ship forward to where Footsie's showing you, and eventually you come just above a cabin in the woods. You look down, and the cabin is made of logs. There's smoke coming out of the chimney, and you can tell that somebody lives there. All right. We need to sneak up on him and get in there. Let's go figure it out, you say. Spaceship, shrink down to miniature size. Spaceship starts to glow around you, 
and you, along with the ship, start to shrink. You shrink and shrink and shrink until you're the size of a housefly. You fly the ship down towards the cabin. Since it's an old cabin, it's really easy to find some holes through the logs. You fly inside and you watch as the man sits at his computer and hooks up the camera. This is gonna be great, he says. I've been waiting to get a picture of Sasquatch for a long time. He thought he could evade me, but I'm gonna become famous on the internet. Now, as soon as this video uploads on my really ancient and old dial-up internet connection, I will be famous once again. You look at the computer screen and you see a little bar in the front of it. It's incredibly slowly moving across the screen to show how close it is to being uploaded. Footsie, you say. We, we need a plan to stop him. I don't know. We have to make him think it wasn't me or I wasn't real or something. That's it, you say. We can make a Sasquatch costume that looks just like you and I'll wear it. I'll go down beside the cabin, peek up through the window, and then when he looks and chases me down, I'll reveal that I was a person in a suit the entire time. That's a great idea. Yeah, cause then he'll know that the pictures are fake, or at least he'll think they are. Let's get to it, spaceship. Print me a really super realistic Sasquatch suit that looks exactly like footsie. Printing Sasquatch suit now, says the spaceship. A light shines down on Footsie the Sasquatch scanning every part of his body. And then another light appears, making a suit of the Sasquatch materialize beside him. Once it's done, it falls to the floor. You quickly go over and put the suit on. You step into the legs of it. You put your left arm in, then your right arm. You zip up the back of the suit. And last, you put on the hat. Now let's go, you say. You open up the back doors of the spaceship and walk outside. Only then realizing that you never made the thing grow bigger again and you're actually much smaller than a little fly right now. <sighs> you say, this isn't going to work. You head back inside and say, Spaceship, I think we better grow bigger before we do this. Good idea, says Spaceship. Spaceship flies a little bit further away in the woods, grows back to its normal size, and you along with it. The back doors open and you walk out. You slowly sneak around the cabin up towards the picture taker's house. You sneak all the way up to the cabin, and then you stick your head up beside the window. You purposefully make a noise. The man looks over, sees you, grabs his camera, unplugs it from the computer, and runs towards you. When he comes after you, you run into the woods pretending that you're trying to hide. He runs after you with the camera, and you jump and duck behind a rock. I'm going to get you, he says. You just keep hiding and hiding and hiding. And when he gets close enough, you pop up and jump up on the rock. He takes pictures of you and you run away. You run through the forest as the man chases after you. You dodge between trees. And then the man trips on a root and falls to the ground. Ow, he says. You stop and go back to see the man. Are you all right? You ask. You can... You can talk? Says the man. Of course I can talk. What do you think? I'm human, aren't I? What do you mean you're human? I'm human, you say. You pull the mask off, revealing that you were a human the entire time. Oh no, says the man. I was about to upload your picture and make myself famous. 
Now I'll just look like a fool if I do it. Yeah, I think you will look like a fool, you say. I guess you better not upload that picture. Ah, I guess I better not. Thanks for nothing, kid. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take you back to your parents and let them know the mischief you've been up to. Now get back here, the man says. He starts running towards you, and you run away from him. This time, you're really trying to get away. The man runs through the forest and you try to dodge. You jump over an old tree, duck under some branches, but then you see a river in front of you. Just above the river is a big branch. You're not sure you can reach it, but you decide you're gonna try. As you approach the river, you take one last step and you jump as high as you can into the air. You grab onto the branch and use it to swing yourself over to the other side. You smoothly fly through the air and land in a crouch position. The man can't get across the river and you keep running. Spaceship, come pick me up. We have to get out of here. This guy seems a little bit crazy, you say. Coming to find you, says the spaceship. The spaceship eventually appears in front of you in a big opening. You run into the back of the spaceship where Footsie's still waiting. Thanks, buddy. That was amazing. I'm gonna have to think of that if I ever get caught again. Um, try not to get caught again, Footsie. I don't think the same trick's gonna work more than once. Good idea, says Footsie. Now, how about you and I have a little Sasquatch fun? What do you mean, Sasquatch fun? You ask? Well, we Sasquatch like to relax in a pretty exciting way, says Footsie. Follow me. Footsie directs you to a huge open area where you land the spaceship. He walks over to a rock and he taps on it with a secret series of knocks. Suddenly the rock splits open in the middle and the two sides move away from each other. It reveals a passageway with stairs leading down. You and Footsie follow the stairs down. On every side of you is brightly colored moss that glows and makes the tunnel a really neat and interesting set of colors. There's purple and blue, green and red and yellow. You walk along the lit tunnel until you come to a big opening. Now this is where I like to relax, says Footsie. Inside the tunnel, you see a couch, and on the couch are two video game controllers, and in front of you is a huge video screen. Now, let's have some fun, says Footsie. Sasquatch play video games, you ask? Of course we do. What else do you think we do when we're stuck inside all the time? Come on, I'll show you. You sit down on the couch, pick up the controller, and you and Sasquatch play video games for a long time. But as you play, your eyelids start to get heavy. You start blinking, and it feels really good to just leave your eyes closed. You try it out for a while, and you decide to just leave them closed. Then you let yourself lay back on the couch. You sink down to a laying position and you begin to let yourself relax. You let your face relax, your arms and shoulders relax. Footsie puts a big blanket over top of you and says, good night, buddy. You allow yourself to drift off to sleep 
on Footsie the Sasquatch's couch. <laughs>